So Evan, imagine this. You just get certified as a scuba diver. You book the trip of a lifetime on a liveaboard dive boat where you're gonna spend an entire week doing nothing but scuba diving from that boat in some amazing destination. And the first thing they say to you is, some of your entries are gonna be negative entries. Well, as a new diver, I would be thinking, what is a negative entry? Because they don't really tell you that. That's true. In the open water course, and even in some of the advanced courses and beyond, they don't really talk about negative entries. So that's what we're gonna talk about here in this video today. This video is sponsored by Adventures in Diving STX, the official SSI and Naui dive shop on St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. But more on them in a minute. So Evan, let's start with this. What is a negative entry? Well, a negative entry is when you jump off a boat or appear here and then you just go straight down and you don't hang out at the surface of the water. So you're just hitting the water and you're going down. Yeah, basically. Why on earth would you ever want to or need to do that? Don't, don't you just want to like hit the water, kind of pop up, take your time, relax, get your mask and everything all situated and then descend? Well, in some places in the world, like Florida as, a, as an example, you don't really have time to do that with the strong currents and the windy and the waves. No, you're absolutely right. The most common application for doing a negative entry is on a drift dive. So sometimes you need to be able to hit that water and get down to the dive site as quick as possible, and that means not taking any time at the surface, but getting straight underneath those waves. Yeah, and you want to make sure that you do not have any air in your BC, so you're not fighting any of that buoyancy in your BC. That's right, you don't want to hit the water and then pop back up at all, so you want to dump all the air out of your BC as the first thing that you're going to do when you're getting ready for a negative entry. You can actually even take it one step further, right? Yeah, you can also suck the air out of your BC. That, that sounds terrible. It, it really, <laughs> it can't taste good. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't taste good. But it's really effective. You, you completely empty all the gas out of your BCD so that when you hit the water, you're as negative as possible. There's almost no buoyancy uh, in, in your BCD and boom, you hit the water, you're down, right? Yeah, and another tip is you want to make sure you are properly weighted for going straight down. That's right. So be neutral or even slightly negatively weighted. So know your weights in different types of environments and certainly different types of exposure suits before you attempt to do a negative entry here so that you're properly weighted when you hit that water. Well, when you learn into scuba dive, you, you learn a whole lot of different ways to enter the water. And that kind of brings us to our sponsor for this video, which is Adventures in Diving STX here on the island of St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Yeah, Adventures in Diving is the only SSI dive shop on this island, and they are very adaptable and can teach you any of the skills you need. That's right, they can cover courses all the way from just trying to scuba dive and just doing it once for the very first time and getting exposed to it on up through getting certified through some of the advanced courses and they even have a whole series of online courses about the physics of diving and different ecology courses as well. But not only can they teach you to dive, they also have a full range of rental equipment. So they have fins, boots, wetsuits, BC, masks, everything that you might need to dive. And they're going to have guys that can get you in the water, but they don't just stop with scuba diving. They also offer snorkeling tours out there as well, yeah? Yeah, so if you haven't learned to dive yet or just prefer snorkeling, they will take you out there to some amazing spots. So if you're looking for a dive shop to hook up with here on St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands, definitely check out Adventures in Diving STX here on King Street in Frederickstead, right near the Frederickstead Pier. So Evan, another thing to keep in mind while doing a negative entry off a boat is the boat is often moving forward, ever so slowly, but it's moving forward. And normally you're doing this entry off the stern of the boat where, right, the boat's moving away from you, you're heading into the water, so you're, you're really clear of those props. But not all the time, right? Yeah, in some cases you could also be doing it off the port or starboard side of the boat as well. So that's right, sometimes depending on the boat that you're on, in particular liverboards are often the entries off the sides of the boat, it all just depends on the, on the boat itself. But if you go off the side of the boat, the boat is often still moving forward, but the captain has it in neutral position, they're just drifting forward so that the propeller is not engaged, right? But you still need to hit that water get down immediately at least to 10 or 15 feet so that you're drifting past the hull of the boat and past the prop and staying well clear of, of any danger area there. So a negative entry isn't a skill that's performed very often, but it is a necessary skill in some instances, so it is a good one to learn and to master. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out our other video here on Diving Mona Island where we do perform a negative entry to get in the water. But until then, we'll see you next time underwater.